Welcome to Ghost Hash Crypto Mining. It's your boy John, Chief Mining Operator and Crypto Finding Friend. We have a value packed video for you today. I'm going to show you how to mine a new coin at home. No extra hardware required. All you need is a PC, any PC, Mac, computer, Linux, Raspberry Pi, and you can get this thing going. I also want to update everyone on my helium mining progress. I'm happy to report that we are fully synced and showing some improvements. But before we get into it, if you haven't already done so, hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up. I'm bringing you multiple videos a week, all focused on ways that you can make passive income mining cryptocurrency smash that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up thank you alrighty everyone so here we are the coin that I'm gonna teach you guys how to mine today is called mysterium now mysterium is a decentralized VPN also known as a DVPN so here's the definition of a DVPN commonly known as DVPN a decentralized VPN offers a secure internet connection that is run by a net network of nodes that can be a server, a laptop, phone, or even a desktop computer. These nodes receive compensation for maintaining their services and providing a safer network. So Mysterium Network is a decentralized VPN. Now those of you that don't know what a VPN is, okay, so I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of VPNs. I mean, they're a fairly common thing. I would hope that you know what a VPN is and I would hope that a lot of you use it. It's something that's essential, especially in today's day and age where cybersecurity and cybersecurity risks are at an all time high. So what is a VPN? VPN stands for Virtual Private Network, a service that protects your internet connection and privacy online. It creates an encrypted tunnel for your data, protects your online identity by hiding your IP address, and allows you to use public Wi-Fi hotspots safely. So that is a VPN. And the reason I'm bringing up VPN is because the coin that I am going to show you how to mine today is a DVPN. Now let's take a look at a DVPN for comparison. What is a DVPN? So the reason I talk about VPNs is because the coin that I'm going to show you how to mine today is a decentralized VPN. Commonly known as DVPN, a decentralized VPN offers a secure internet connection that is run by a network of nodes that can be a server, a laptop, phone, or even a desktop computer. These nodes receive compensation for maintaining their services and providing a safer network. It is the decentralized version of a VPN where you are able to create a node, host a node, and they reroute traffic through all these nodes of all the users around the world, creating like its own decentralized virtual private network where they tunnel your information through IP addresses of other people running nodes. So the coin that I'm talking about today that I'm going to show you how to set up a node and mine is called Mysterium. Now, just a little bit about Mysterium. We already know what it is. It's a decentralized VPN. They have this little video here. I'm going to let it play. It's about two, three minutes long, and it'll give you a very good explanation, uh, you know, top surface level information that Mysterium you need to know. Network is building a decentralized VPN. Know what a VPN is? You probably use one. You're a digital citizen. You live, work, and play online. But at least your privacy is protected, right? Wrong. Using a VPN doesn't give you a cloak of invisibility. Instead, it's simply a shift of trust away from your internet service provider, your government, or some other centralized entity into the hands of a VPN company. Decentralized VPNs are the next generation in Web3 infrastructure. These apps are more like P2P platforms, giving you access to a global marketplace where you can connect to local IP addresses from all over the world. Think of us as Tor Browser but incentivized with cryptocurrency payments. Anyone can join by running a node and adding their IP address to the network. This people-powered network is permissionless, meaning anyone, anywhere can join, and trustless, because you don't need to trust the people you're transacting with, thanks to a unique payments mechanism. 
Mysterium is focused on providing equal access to information globally. We want to help users bypass unethical censorship, which threatens the internet and its founding vision. Use our DVPN to unblock and access censored content. The network can help you to Netflix and chill at home, but it's also there to power the fight for both our human and digital rights. What's more, Mysterium VPN, our flagship suite of privacy-engineered products, allows you to pay as you go, meaning you're no longer locked into a subscription, only paying for what you use, whether by the minute or megabyte. So while you're saving money, we're also helping you make some on the side. Run your Mysterium node anytime to rent out your IP address, and even earn while you work or sleep. Interested in participating in the ecosystem? You can download our apps and try our VPN service, or you can start running a node. Okay, so that's a quick overview on Mysterium. Now let's talk about how to how to get mining. How do you uh, download the node? How do you get it started? And how do you earn money? So let's get going here. Uh, nodes. Let's just click on nodes. Okay. Setup guide supported platforms i'm going to be doing this on windows since we're on a windows computer i'm just going to do it right here i i, I don't see anything other here than raspberry pi avado linux and windows and mac so if there's another uh supported hardware out there or any other type of device i don't see it but it seems like those are the supported devices um and you have everything you need here i'm going to link this page in the description because there's a payout guide service monitoring migrating your node updating your node this is basically your instructional guide for running your node in case you need any instruction on troubleshooting or anything like that so i'm going to go ahead and check out how we install a node on windows okay so to get this node going we're gonna have to use docker for windows so let's click download let's go ahead and download docker for docker desktop never used this before so i'm guessing it's some kind of command prompt that will connect to your node i'm doing this pretty much as i go guys i'm not uh, i've never done this before at all so we're learning together So Docker Desktop is uh, taking about 10 minutes to download. Right now it says 15 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and give you guys the Helium the update. So I got the little mini router. I've been trying to set up a private VPN server on multiple different cloud services like Google Cloud. I've successfully, successfully set those up. I've you know um, i've run open vpn on this vpn router um with my own private vpn server on the google cloud and i still am not able to get those ports open that i need i believe it's port 44158 so i'm still on relayed mode however uh i am i got some witnesses i've changed antenna location i still have the old 5 dbi antenna that i had on it i'm expecting an 8 dbi antenna soon but just moving that to a different location got me three witnesses so we've made prog progress we're fully synced we have witnesses all our whole checklist is complete so we're ready to go I'm, I'm only awaiting that new antenna and it's a matter of time before I get it off of relayed status. I'll report back on that as well. But anyway, let's get back over to Docker desktop and setting up a Mysterium node. So it seems simple enough. 
you got to download Docker on Windows or Mac. Right now we're using Windows. We're, gonna, we're already downloading Docker. It's got about six minutes left. You want to check your system requirements if you're not sure what version of Windows or, or Mac you have. In this case, Windows, actually. You want to type in the command prompt. You want to open the command prompt and type in W-I-N-V-E-R. And then to install, you download Docker Desktop. Um, when the installation finishes, Docker starts automatically. The whale icon in the notification area indicates that Docker is running and accessible from a terminal. We now assume the Docker desktop for Windows or Mac has been successfully installed and Docker service is up and running. So for Windows users, you want to open the terminal, the command line terminal, and copy and paste this into it. You want to replace the missed data with the path where you'd like to store your notes configuration and key store files and then note two you want to add agree to terms and conditions in the command line that means you accept the terms and conditions otherwise they won't let you use it this gives goes over instructions on how to install on linux and uh, mac once the container is running please log into the node ui to set up your service pricing payout address and claim your node in MMN to receive bounties. Alright so the docker desktop is finally downloaded let's go ahead and click the executable file we're gonna hit OK yes install required windows components for WSL2 add shortcut to desktop I'm gonna leave that checked it's unpacking files unpackaging files we'll let this bad boy run here for a second hopefully it doesn't take too too long <clears throat> okay so it says installation succeeded you must restart windows to complete installation close and restart so i'm gonna do that and i'll be right back Okay, so we're back with Docker. I'm going to go ahead and skip tutorial. Try running a container. Copy and paste this command into your terminal. Then come back. Let's go back to Mysterium Network. And let's see about this node business here. Let's get the setup guide. Let's go back to the Windows setup guide. And let's get that piece of code we have to paste in. That's this guy right here. You want to copy that. You can also hit copy there. I don't know why I did that. So we want to let this download completely. Windows Defender Firewall has blocked some features of this app. Allow Docker Desktop Backend to communicate with these networks. Yes. We're going to allow access. And as you can see, it says missed running port 4449 okay so now that we got that going let's go back to the instructions make sure we're doing this right so control your node through the built-in node ui the built-in node ui allows you to adjust your node settings manage services and payment details the built-in node UI allows you to adjust your node settings, manage services and payment details, view performance and real-time sessions metrics. How to log in. Finding the UI when node is in local network. If you're using a MacBook, we don't, we're not. We're on Windows, so you should see a device in my computer through the Windows. This is the last part. We have to connect to the node UI. So in order to do that, you want to type in your local IP address where the node is being hosted, followed by this semicolon 4449. So let's go ahead and do ours. Huh, we could just access it through localhost. Perfect. Bounty payout settings. Fill in the information to receive bounty payments. 
bounty payout address so this has to be an ERC20 compatible wallet so this is your MetaMask wallets and a lot of your exchange wallets as well and private wallets have an ERC20 and are ERC20 compatible so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and once you have that in you want to change your password fill in the following information to set up your node please change the default web UI password at least 10 characters are required then you want to hit claim this node if you claim your node you will be able to manage and see statistics for all your nodes in my mysterium network let's do that get api and this is where you have to log into the mysterium network not registered you want to create an account then you're going to have to verify your email address okay so now you're at this page it says set up your first node you go down to the bottom you want to copy your api token here you want to go back to mysterium web ui you want to copy that right here paste it save and continue and boom you're in so now you have your node set up this is my first time on this guys i have no idea how this works I'm going to poke around with this guys. This video has been long enough. I don't want to not know what we're doing here and just keep you on the hook. But I appreciate everybody watching the video. Um, this is another way you can mine. From what I'm hearing, you can make anywhere from 30 to 40 bucks a month mining Mysterium on your PC, on any device that we covered today. It's pretty simple to install. There was a couple of parts there that we had to troubleshoot but nothing crazy uh, and here's another source of passive income for you using your computer um, help helping decentralize the internet anyway I'm gonna continue to do updates on Mysterium and, and the mining progress see what our total earnings are and just continue to monitor the whole thing I'm going to learn, see if there's anything else we have to do, and uh, or is that it? Are we up and running? If anybody knows, comment down below. If any of you guys plan on uh, running a Mysterium node, also comment down below. If you need any help troubleshooting, reach out to me down below. Again, thank you guys, and I hope you guys have a great day.